into this topic, people keep saying I'm whispering. Like I said, people keep saying that I'm whispering. I am not literally whispering at all. They keep commenting, oh, I can't hear you. If you comment, I can't hear you. I'm going to delete your comment and block you because I just said it for the 13th time. YouTube blocks out the audio. Now, I know y'all may be saying, how is they blocking out the audio? Because most of I record the video, I go back and I listen to the audio sometimes. And most of the time, the audio be fairly decent. You know, and then when I put it up, it gets fucked up. But you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like, like I'm not blocking the speaker or anything like that. So clearly, I hope you can hear me. But anyway, like I said, today's video, we want I want to talk about how the wicked, well, the wicked will try to turn your heart away from the truth. But a lot of people already have been tricked by the wicked. You see what I'm saying? Even a lot of righteous people. You see what I'm saying? Even myself, I've been tricked by the wicked in the past. You see what I'm saying? Like, everybody has been tricked by the wicked. Even if you haven't been tricked personally by somebody, you have been tricked by this so-called system. Right? You have been tricked by the indoctrination of the public school system, the private school system. Or even if you went to a Catholic school, you have been brainwashed and tricked. And a lot of people don't know that. And they don't want to know that because they don't want to know that they was living a lie. Right? But a lot of melanated people, especially my Hebrew Israelites, especially my Judites, right? You know, in, um, you know, Issachar, you know, the Mexicans, and, uh, you know, the Native Americans, right? Uh, we, they have put us against each other to make us fight each other. If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you can see and go back and think and reflect back on what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, they just, uh, it's just now come out that Theodore Roosevelt statue is now either it's been taken down or it's about to get taken down. And if you don't know who that is, he was basically the reason why the Spanish American war had started because of Theodore Roosevelt. It started some sometime in the 1800s. Like 1880s or something like that, 1880s, 1890s. That's how the Spanish American War started. They got, they got basically the the, the tribes of um, Israel to fight each other. They got the um, the Judites versus the Mexicans, and the Mexicans versus the Native Americans. They all had us fight each other. You, you see what I'm saying? Process of elimination. But I just want to chime in and let you know that. If you have just been awakened back up to this truth, because like I said, I've been heard of the name like Hebrews, I've been heard of the names, this and that. But you know, a lot of these agents, they was using bastardized names like Yeshua or Yahweh or Yahweh Ben Yahweh. And I've been like, okay, you know, me, I'm searching for the truth. So I'm like, I don't even know what those are names. And when you say them, I'm saying I'm speaking like in the past. Like, and um, when I'm using them names, I'm just like, that shit don't even sound right. But then when I came across Brother Matthias, Shout out to the Elder Matthias. Shout out to Big Judah. And shout out to GMS Exodus 2086. You know what I'm saying? When I came across these brethren, you know, they was talking about um, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And it was just something about those names that just, it clicked. And these brethren was talking about Jerusalem. They was talking about Israel and the tribes and stuff like that. And it just wasn't clicking. Like, And then one day, like I said, about, damn near about what, two weeks ago now, to this day, I was just sitting back thinking, and it just like something just, it just all clicked, and you know, I just been, you know, trying to uh, research and learn this word more and more and more. You see what I'm saying? And it makes sense because it just even think about back to the past before I even was into this word, before I even knew about this truth. Like even just growing up, when you People can see, like, demonic entities, they can see somebody that has a light about them. See, demonic spirits, they can discern good spirits. Just like good spirits can discern bad spirits. You see what I'm saying? But if you unconscious and you under a spell, you go around people, You not, your first instinct is not to check out their energy. You know what I'm saying? Your first instinct is to try to make a good first impression. But no, once you wake up out of that spell... You know, the first thing to do is size somebody up, check out their energy, 
see what they about, you know what I'm saying? See what kind of spirits is attached to them. Now, I ain't saying everybody perfect and everybody gonna have love these spirits attached to them. I'm just saying see who's wicked, who's more wicked than others because let's say if you uh you trying to get on the right path, you an honor roll student, I'm just giving you examples. You got straight A's, you know what I'm saying, you follow the word of the most high, or at least you trying to, you have say if you're a male, you'll have a woman come towards you to turn your heart away from the most high. Say if you're a male. I mean, I'm tweaking. Say if you're a female, you'll have a male come towards you, come in your life, turn your heart away from the most high. Because they was agents sent. They know who you are. You don't know who you are. They were sent to, to throw you off your path. They were sent to turn your heart away. Real shit, that's what happened to King Solomon. His heart got turned away by a female. You see what I'm saying? He got lost from the uh, laws and statutes and commandments of the most high. You see what I'm saying? So wake up. You know, it's just something for you to think about. You know what I'm saying? Think about who around you. Is these people that's around you two-thirds? Is they living in the world? Is they... And when I say living in the world, don't get me wrong. Like, if you still have a job, you was blessed to still have a job. Or you blessed to still have some type of work. And you going to work and you take care of what you got to do. That's not living in the world. That's just doing what the fuck you got to do and getting out. But if you want those people, every day you want to just go hang out and keep this system afloat and you know you hang around people that's just they doing drugs all day they drinking all day they not trying to do anything it's a difference if you might have a couple of drinks here and there but you know how to balance yourself out and you know how to get yourself back right that's different from somebody that does it 24 7 24 7 24 7 always speaking negative about somebody always talking down about somebody those are two-thirds fuck that man fuck that shit i ain't reading that shit i don't believe in over your house you know i'm not saying me i'm just saying that's how these demons is and his name is dreadful amongst the heathen so remember that heathens cannot say that name yahweh or yahweh shy they cannot say that they only can say the bastardized name that they was told to say remember that so you have people that are agents they know who you are you still don't know who you are. They have come, they have been sent to infiltrate you, and keep your heart, and keep your mind astray from what the truth is. And if you woke up in these end times, because we really in the end times right now, and the prophecies are coming to life faster and faster and faster. And the people who sold, they sold. I'm going to say it again. The people who sold, they sold. They hate to hear people talk about these prophecies coming true. They want to keep you focused on one prophecy on something a fear tactic they want to keep you on one prophecy they don't want to talk about all the other prophecies that's coming true people who sold they sold don't want to hear that the yeah, how should i coming back people don't want to hear that because they want to satan and his demons they want to live out the rest of their time in peace but that's not going to happen because during our captivity y'all never let us live out in peace and even still after the captivity even though we still in captivity of course but even still after the calendar date, we still, you know, it's things happening here and there. Like I said, Theodore Roosevelt statue just got taken down. So that's that's good. That's progress. But it's still killing going on, still legends. But of course, two thirds of our nation will be killed anyway for their ignorance and their wickedness. So, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of shit going on on the planet right now. And it's so many distractions to keep you looking at what's the truth. Wake up.